Hi, my name is Kim Cullen, and I'm a personal injury attorney in Winter Park, Florida. We meet with people all the time who've been injured on the job, and a lot of those people have been injured because of some kind of bonehead or stupid move by either a coworker or supervisor. Now, all of those people should be entitled to and should receive workers' compensation benefits as the, the law requires, generally requires, most employers to carry workers' comp benefits for their workers. But a lot of those people get very frustrated when they learn or realize that workers' compensation only pays medical expenses and 60% of lost wages. A lot of people feel like that's not enough and that they ought to be able to pursue the remainder of their lost wages and their pain and suffering from their employer, from the, the coworker that caused them the injury. This is the point in the conversation when we usually have to start explaining what workers' compensation immunity is, and so I wanted to take a second to talk about that in this video. Workers' compensation immunity is the legal protection that employers have under Florida's workers' compensation scheme. So, so essentially, because workers don't have to prove fault in order to have their medical bills and some of their lost wages paid, the trade-off is that they're not allowed to sue their employer for any other damages. This is something that the business community in Florida asked for about 50 years ago, and so this has been the law of the land here in Florida for just about that long. So the good news is that while workers' compensation immunity applies to most of the potential claims that employees might have, workers' compensation immunity is not absolute. There are exceptions to it. And those exceptions, unfortunately, require a whole lot of proof from the, the, work, the injured worker, essentially that the, uh, either the coworker or their supervisor intended to either seriously injure them or kill them. So as you can imagine, this is a really difficult burden for any worker to come forward with evidence to support. But if the worker was injured by somebody who doesn't work for the same company as he does, then the law requires le a lesser standard of proof in order to prove a case and get around workers' compensation immunity. And those are the kinds of cases that we have been very successful with in the past. A lot of people complain that the workers' compensation system is unfair, and, and we tend to agree with them. However, the law is what it is, and so we have to face the burdens that the law uh, places upon us. So if you have any questions about workers' compensation immunity or if you've been injured on the job and you're curious about whether you can pursue a personal injury case for pain and suffering damages, please reach out to us. We'd love to answer questions. You can always call us at our office at 407-254-4901. You can text us at 407-644-4444, or you can even reach us via the Facebook Messenger app.